We're here at ASCO 2015. We're talking about precision genomics. I'm here with Dave Lockmiller, the lab manager for precision genomics. So, Dave, explain to me the process of precision genomics. There's a three-step process. The first one is wet bench. The second one is bioinformatics. And the third piece is molecular tumor board. Okay. When we get a sample, we'll extract those so that we're able to get just the DNA for that particular sample. At that point, then we do uh, a process that's called library preparation, okay. which allows us to be able to get the uh, sample ready for analysis on the sequencer. Okay. Once we go through and do the sequencing, then we use a uh, informatics process that allows us to be able to take and make sense out of all of that uh, information from the sequencer so that we're able to identify what genes have been uh, found to be uh, mutated okay. or uh, of a problem. So why is this important for oncologists to have the wet bench process and the bioinformatics together? Why, why is that important? Without the bioinformatics component to it, all you have is just a test. Okay. And the d amount of data that you generate is just so exhaustive that you have to have some mechanism to be able to pull that together so that it makes sense for the, for the oncologist. So essentially what you're providing them is treatment options. Exactly. So with our process with Intermountain Precision Genomics, explain the process of for an oncologist to read your report, what makes us different? Basically what we give is just a very uh, finite list of the actionable mute mutations that we have that are for that patient and the medications that we would recommend for that particular cancer. So essentially they're not digging through tons of different data. It's all very precise and easily, re easily readable so that they can give it's a treatment a one, for their patient. one-page report, basically. Perfect. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome.